Hey you, my name is Thomas Tom Scott Ridgewell and I'm a writer and director. I come up with stupid ideas and then I work with a brilliant team to make them a reality. And today I thought I'd tell you about the start to finish process of how one of my videos gets made. First of all, we have the birth of the idea. Ideas can come from anywhere at any time, but I get a lot of them during what I call dead time, which is when you're stuck doing something monotonous and your brain is just kind of left free to wander. Showering, traveling, exercising, it's different for everyone though. Next is storage. It's unlikely I can immediately act on a new idea, so usually I first write them down in my phone or on my sketchbook until I can eventually transfer them into my project bank which is a physical and digital document with just all of my ideas written down. After a massively varying amount of time, the project will be selected for development, pre-production, which first means writing it. These days I like to write with my co-writer Eddie here. Hello! Because I just like it and I feel like the jokes turn out better for it. First we will turn all the jokes and beats into pieces of paper like this, and then into a first draft of the script, which is usually also the only draft, because we're good at what we do. Yep, that's why. Once the script is ready, it's time for the producer to get to work. Their job is to bring all the right people together and make things happen. Camera, sound, makeup, etc. If the project is simple enough, they'll also take care of booking the location too. Basically all of the exciting paperwork and logistics. Yay! Then, before the shoot, we prepare. Makeup and costume are told what to bring, camera and sound are given a rough idea of the kind of things they're gonna need, the cast rehearse, but I pretty much never do this because I'm a garbage director, a shot list or storyboard is created so everything goes smoothly on the day and nothing is forgotten, but again, I sometimes forget to do this because I'm garbage, and finally, a call sheet is sent out to all the cast and crew so everyone knows where to be and when. Now comes the shoot. If everything has been well prepared, everyone should just show up, do their jobs, and go home happy. Unfortunately, this is reality and something will always go wrong, and that's when it's either the producer's job to fix the problem Problem, or the director's job to work around the problem. Filmmaking is basically a lot of creative problem solving. After the shoot, it's time for post-production, which begins with editing. The footage is transferred onto the computer and into the editing software, where, to make life easier later, it is sorted into scenes and shots and occasionally even takes, and that's where the editor, usually Elliot here, Hello. gets to work creating a rough edit before I come in, tell him to change everything, and then we are picture locked. The picture locked edit is then sent over to the visual effects artist and the composer. The visual effects artist obviously adds all of the visual effects and the composer scores the music. If needed, I'll write a big long email describing what I want to happen and then when they're done, I will usually give them a round of notes and their work is finished. They are free. Once the VFX and music are complete, an updated version is sent over to the sound designer and colorist. The sound designer's job is to make everything sound amazing, to make sure the dialogue is clear, to add in any sound effects, to mix the music, and if they've done their job right, you won't appreciate their work at all. And the colorist job, unsurprisingly, is to fix the color and just generally make the visuals look as good as they possibly can. Now that everything is complete, a final edit of the video is put together. The opening sting and end card are added and the video is compressed and exported so that it looks pretty but isn't a huge file size. Finally, the video is uploaded to YouTube. A thumbnail is designed, the tags and descriptions are typed up, and we're done. I make the video live, I share it around on social media, and ideally, you do the same. And then the process begins all over again. So I hope that was interesting, and remember, you can always check my video descriptions if you want to know more about the people involved who aren't... me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Tom Scott out. Actually, one last thing. I want to point out that while this is where I am now, it's not where I started. When I began making videos, it was just me and a bunch of friends standing in a field with no particular skills to speak of, making it up as we went along using only this camera. So if this all seems unattainable or overwhelming, then I want you to know that... I understand. I get it. A few years ago I visited the set of a huge production and I left feeling completely demotivated because how could I ever hope to reach that level? But the fact is you can't run before you walk and you can't walk before you crawl. The only guaranteed way to fail at something is to not even try. So if this is what you want to do then get to it. Right now. Do it. Tom Scott out. Well, as you know, you're our newest and only journalist here at The Sun. I just want to talk to you. So, again, hello.